What makes you happy? Who makes you happy? Are you happy? Are you feeling happy? What are you feeling? Okay guys, let's jump into this real quick. They say happiness is a state of mind. They say happiness is a state of being. But you shouldn't allow yourself to depend on somebody to feel happy. Mm, why not? Why not? Another person can come and be a rum in your life. They can ignite you or they can confuse you. Don't tell yourself you don't need people. Don't tell yourself you don't need friends. You need people. You need friends. I love the fact that I have my own people. I love the fact that I have my friends. I love the fact that I have my family. I love the fact that I have people that I've never met, but when I do meet them, they, they're happy that we met. There's so many things to be grateful for. There's so many things for you to be appreciative of, but you're busy worrying about the negative that already gone. If it gone, it gone. What are you going to do? Hmm? You going to kill yourself about it? No. You going to beat yourself about it? No. Get up. Keep going. Keep moving. Figure out a way how to deal with all your anxiety. All your depression if you're like me. I have anxiety and I have depression. But guess what? I have friends. I have family. I have my person. I have my kid and most of all I have God and I have this power to still get up and the urge to still keep going. I never want to feel like I felt a few months ago. A few months ago I was drained. I was stressed. I felt like wet cloth somebody was wringing out. Mm -hmm. But guess what I never did. I never threw in the towel. I never said I'm done. I never said I'm quitting. I never once said those things out of my mouth. Because giving up is not an option. God's not done with me until I'm done. I still want to fall in love. I still want to get married. I still want to have more kids. I want to have a successful career. I want to have this. But are you working towards it? Are you? If you're not working towards it, you're just procrastinating. Einstein says, if you keep doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different results, that's insanity. I believe that. Because if every time you turn the fire on and put a frying pot on, and you pour oil into it, then you splash water, it will always pop and burn you. Think about it. What are you hoping for? What is your desire? Who do you desire? What do you desire? What are you hoping for? Why are you telling yourself you don't need people? You think if you didn't need people, God would put you on a planet where there's seven, over 7 billion people? You think so? You think if you didn't need choices, God would just say, Oh, I'm not creating, I'm going to create pure Adam and Eve where I know this one is so that one and that one is so that one. You need people. People can ignite you. People can motivate you. People can show you things that you've never seen. So why are you so willing to say you don't need them? I need people. I need my own people. I need my own person. I need my family. I need my friends. I need them. So... I don't know about you, but you need to get your act together. You need to start realizing how blessed you are. You need to start realizing how great you got it before you no longer have it. 
trust me. If it weren't for my friends and my family, I don't know. Maybe depression and anxiety would have at me a lot. This is, I'm talking about a few months ago. A few months ago. When everybody thought I was okay, I was getting out of the house. I was doing what I normally do. But when I sat in my car to drive home, it was just me going home to myself. I got so scared at one point, I didn't take my daughter home for a week. Like, y'all didn't know that. I got scared of how I felt because I never want to feel that way again. But what? I got up and I realized how good I got it. And I kept moving. Are you still willing to talk about how far you are going to go to save yourself? You can't really save yourself. It's a state of mind. But you need people to help you. You need people. They say be careful how you treat the people on the way while you are on your way to the top. Because you need them on your way down. Don't rise for a fall and to fall alone. It's best to fall together. So at least you'll have some cushion for the push. <laughs> so, listen. I'm honest. I'm just, I'm just, just being honest with you guys. Stop telling yourself you don't need people. Stop telling yourself you don't need friends. Stop. You understand me? If one of the great, the greatest story of all time, right, about Jesus, he had 12, 12 disciples or 12 followers, whatever. He knew that he needed people in order to get to where he needed to be today. He needed to be the most famous man famous man to ever walk this earth and he got that he got that now be true yourself who makes you happy who who makes you sad what thoughts get into your head that disrupts your day you have to know these things in order to be happy all the time. You have to be able to separate your happiness from your sadness. You have to be able to know that this is my happiness. This is my joy. This is my peace. And if anything is coming to disrupt that, revoke it. Cancel it. My eyebrows are bushy today. <laughs> Cancel it. But don't allow your happiness to be tormented by an unhappy person. Protect your space. Protect your mental space, okay? Not just your home. Protect your mental space. That's the most important thing. And guys, listen. I'm going to tell you this again. You don't know what a person is going through. So just be kind to them, okay? Anxiety and depression looks like this too. It does. Honestly, it does. So be mindful. Not all of us are happy until we finally get to that stage. Bye.